Got some early stuff by REO Speedwagon on Billboard's Hot 100, May 28, 1977. REO Speedwagon, they formed in 1967, and they released their first album in 1971. It was, uh, I believe it was self-titled, a debut album produced by Paul Lika, or it's Lika, L-E-K-A, Paul Lika, who wrote... He co-wrote The Green Tambourine. He produced a song, The Green Tambourine by the Lemon Pipers, producing REO Speedwagon's uh, debut album. And uh, this record on Billboard's Hot 100 at number 96, it debuted at number 96 the week of May 28, 1977, Riding the Storm Out by REO Speedwagon. Actually, that song came from a self-titled album they put out in 1973. It was their third album called Riding the Storm Out. They had done a show in Boulder, Colorado, and they got they got stranded by a blizzard. They were hanging out at a bar. I think it was a bar called Taliga. Taliga, I believe, was the name of the bar, and they got stranded there by a snowstorm, just riding the storm out. Written by uh, Gary Richrath, who was their lead guitarist back in the 70s and 80s, and he wrote a lot of their early records, uh, REO Speedwagon. REO Speedwagon, uh, they were kind of a, they, they generated an immense following, well, a following of sorts in the 70s, and then, God, in the 80s, they just went commercial. They just big time commercial success can't fight this feeling in 1985 and of course it was high infidelity the album that put them I mean it was a supernova supernova of a commercial success put them right on the map big time radio friendly records like uh, I keep on loving you take it on the run remember that back in the spring of 81 but this song right here riding the storm out apparently it was re-released in 1977 as REM was, I mean, REO Speedwagon, rather, was generating a following. And uh, let's go to that Billboard's Hot 100. REO Speedwagon, the song peaked at number 94 on Billboard's Hot 100 for three weeks back in the spring of 1977. The album itself, riding, riding the storm out, uh, it got as high as number 171 on Billboard's Top 200 Albums, and that was in 1981. That ranked in 1981, but by 1989, the album, their third album, went platinum since REO Speedwagon had generated such humongous success in the early to mid-80s. But let's go back to Billboard's Hot 100. Of, man, it's a jam to listen to. Uh, just classic American rock and roll, or North American rock and roll. REO Speedwagon riding the storm out, coming in at number 96, making its debut at 96 on Billboard's Hot 100 of May the 28th, 1977. 